Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and in today's video we're going to be doing something um, a little bit <laughs> different, and in today's video we're going to be making the sunglasses from Strokeback. So in episode 26 of season 4 in Strokeback, the lucky charm they use is a pair of sunglasses because they're going to be um, going too close to the sun, although if you're going to be going that close to the sun, I don't somehow think a pair of sunglasses are going to cut it. I think your eyeballs are just going to burn out of your skull along with maybe some other gooey organs. This is disgusting. Anyway, I thought it would be really fun to make them because I'm going away. At the time of filming this, I'm going away tomorrow, but by the time you watch this I will already have been, but I'm going away to London for a couple of days with some friends who are like miraculous. So I thought it'd be fun to make some miraculous sunglasses for our miraculous trip to London. Okay, so first thing you need are a pair of sunglasses. They can be as cheap as you like and they are roughly in the same shape as Ladybug sunglasses in Strike Back. And you can see I've already taped off the lenses so I don't get paint on them. The next thing you're gonna need is a plastic primer. Um, I'm new to this, this is the first time I've ever done something like this, so I don't know if what I used is a good one, but this is the one I used. <laughs> and in addition to the primer, you will also need a sealant for plastic sealing after you are finished with everything. You're also going to need some sandpaper, as well as red and black paints and then some just general safety gear like some goggles and a mask and we also found out later on for the sealer and the primer it's probably for the best to actually also wear rubber gloves but I didn't know that at the time of filming this because I hadn't actually done anything yet. So the first step is actually to just wash the glasses in some warm soapy water. It didn't take very long with just a pair of sunglasses but I was just trying not to get any of that paper tape wet. Honestly most of these steps are pretty easy. They just can be a little bit time consuming at times when you're waiting for things to dry. So then I went outside and sanded things down. You can't see in this clip since you can't see my face, but I am actually wearing a mask and goggles. There was white plastic bits flying absolutely everywhere, so you definitely need to wear a mask if not goggles too. And you can see the dog sunbathing behind me. She was fine, don't worry about it. I cleaned everything up when I was done. She didn't inhale anything, don't worry about it. She came nowhere near me because of the sound this was making, which is why I've muted it, because it sounded absolutely awful. <laughs> um, it's not fun to sand down sunglasses, but basically you need to do this in order to remove the top layer that's on the sunglasses so you can paint them and get the paint to adhere to it. So the next step is spraying the primer on the glasses. So I would recommend if you're getting a pair of glasses to do this to get a white pair or get a lighter colour pair as possible and if that's not possible for your primer to be white because the darker your glasses are when you come to paint them red and black you will have to do more coats of paint depending on how dark they are. So if you can get white glasses or spray them white at some point I would recommend before painting them red and black painting them white. So I'm just spraying on the primer and I'm doing it on one of our dog's puppy mats out on the grass so um, the dog doesn't go eat um, grass stained with primer afterwards. We also have a cat. My niece and nephew also come around all the time and um, they are both below the age of five. So um, I didn't want to get primer on the grass but if you don't have any pets or young children to worry about then um, I guess it's fine, go for it. So I left the primer to dry for two days, just on one of those puppy mat things, and then I took them upstairs to my room. I believe I did this a day after my birthday, so I primed them the day before, then the day after I started painting the glasses. So this is the first coat of red paint, and you can probably see um, it's not completely red yet, the paint isn't thick enough, it kind of ends up looking pink. So this is the first coat and I did the second coat later on in the day. So I believe I did the first coat at like 7am and I did the second coat at 11am. The paint I used dried really really fast which was really really good. But yeah, as you can see here, it does look slightly pink. So even with a white pair of glasses I still had to do two coats of the red paint. So um, depending on whatever base colour you're starting with, either from the glasses or the primer or a mixture of the two, you may have to do more coats of paint. Even with white, I still had to do quite a lot of paint. So like I said, I managed to do both of the coats of the red during the same day. And also later on the day, I think this was about 4 p.m., I also started on doing the dots. So for this, I was actually using um, a uh, nail art tool. So for the red, I was just using a normal paintbrush that I'd usually use to paint with. I'm actually using a nail art tool just because I thought it was a bit easier to make the circles. So one end is like, um, it's called a dotting tool. It's like a little sphere that you dip into nail polish and you put on your nail and it creates like a little dot, hence why it's called a dotting tool. And the other end is a very small nail art brush. So I kind of made the shape 
of the circle or half circle depending where it was um, with the dotting tool and then I filled it in with the brush side and as you can see here um, I'm not actually doing the back of the glasses I did the front of the glasses and like the top and bottom but I didn't bother doing the insides because only I was going to see the insides, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> so later on in the day at about 5pm we sprayed sealant on the glasses. Um, outside again on the grass you can see the grass is tinged white so we had to cut that all the way afterwards. But this is just a clear sealant to seal all of the painting. And now here are the glasses. They are great. I obviously took the tape off when I was done. Um, however, a bit of a problem. I actually need three pairs so my wonderful son Mark. Can you please help me out? Sublimation. Thank you very much. There they are. They look absolutely beautiful and I can't wait for me and my friends to wear them in London. So here are the glasses. I think they turned out fairly well. I think they look good from a distance and to you they probably do look pretty good. Uh, the only thing I didn't do was on the inside. I didn't paint any of the spots. I just left it red. Um, so from a distance they look good, but up close, basically around the lenses, it's worst on the inside, but around the lenses where I put the tape, if I didn't put the tape down well enough and it kind of went onto the actual glasses itself when I peeled it all off when everything was dry, um, some of the paint chipped off a little bit right around the edges. Like I said, from a distance and probably to you, they do look really good, um, but up close to me in person. I also need to clean the lenses, I haven't done that yet. Um, you can see like all the little paint chips. It's fine, I can live with it, I don't mind. They were just a bit of fun and hopefully my friends will like them. So there you go besties. I had loads of fun making these. Honestly, just between waiting for coats of paint to dry, I'd go and do other stuff, PhD work, whatever. So um, it wasn't actually that time consuming. Yeah, it did take a while, but it's only because I was waiting for things to dry. And honestly, the paint I was using dried pretty quick to be honest so um that was pretty good so yeah if you make these glasses i'd love to see you besties you can send me a picture on email on twitter on instagram on discord wherever you so please i'd love to know what you think of this video besties and i'll see you in the next one bye